Welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Mysteries from Beyond the Other Dominion. I'm your host, Dr. Franklin Rule, and today, a special segment, The Amazing World of Crime and Punishment. Yes, I said crime and punishment. For example, we'll investigate the case of the Phantom Tollgate that exacted justice for murder, reveal the secret of the Salem Witch Trial, ask about the legality of killing E.T., reveal some wacky motorcycle laws that involve females, and critique the crime classic, DOA. But first, the phantom tollgate that demanded justice for murder. Now we go for this to Queensland in the northeastern section of Australia, the date June 6, 1880. Dirk Travers was riding on a dusty road headed for Croydon. He was going to become constable there, replacing another man, John Bigsby. However, on the road ahead of him, he suddenly saw a toll gate appear out of nowhere. Then he saw an old white-haired man crawling toward it, and a big burly man behind him swing an axe and kill him, then drag off the butt. Well, he spurred his horse on, but as he approached that toll gate, it vanished from the road as though it had never been there. He saw a nearby house. He went up to the door, and who greeted him but the big burly axe wielder. He didn't say anything about what he saw. He simply asked if he was on the right road to Croydon, which the man said he was. So he arrived at the town that evening and met with John Digsby, who turned out to be a drunkard. He was suffering from jaundice, apparently, on his last lap. He mentioned the incident to him, but Digsby didn't say anything. Then overnight, Digsby took a turn for the worse. Realizing he's about to die, he told Travers the following story, that he arrived in Croydon several years ago and fell in love with a beautiful girl, Nellie Watts. Her father happened to be Reuben Watts, the big burly brute. So every night he went over to the Watts household. But Reuben Watts was a gambling man probably cheated at cards because Digsby lost night after night after night. He began to steal from the public coffers to pay off his gambling debts to Watts. The Watts probably knew this, but he didn't care. He just wanted his money. Then, one evening, as the two men were gambling, there was a rap at the door. An old white-haired man was there. He foolishly told them that he was a prospector who had struck it rich even flashed a wad of bills and some gold nuggets. He asked if he might dine with them and offered to pay for it. Well, Watts realized this was a great opportunity for him, so he tried drugging the old man. But realizing what was happening, the man crawled out the front door. Watts followed him and took the axe to his head and then blackmailed Digsby into burying him. And at that time, there was a toll gate right where Travers originally saw it but then it was taken down shortly after that incident. Then Digsby died. And soon thereafter, Watts was arrested for the crime of murder and hanged by the neck till he be dead. The case of a phantom toll booth exacting justice from beyond the grave. Now, until next time, may the power of the cosmos be with you. Yes, yes. Yes.